Hi, I'm Enrico Ross, Staff Product Manager with Qualcomm Technologies. I'm going to demonstrate a simple app with developed benchmark mobile AI performance. The app measures machine learning infant speed on three different cores in the Qualcomm Snapdragon A55 mobile platform, CPU, GPU, and the Hexagon DSP. The Qualcomm AI engine makes up to seven teraops of compute available for running machine learning models on mobile devices. It's built into commercial devices powered by the Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. We wrote the app using the same Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK for AI that you can download right now from Qualcomm Developer Network. This benchmarking demo is set for image classification, which is a very common use case in AI apps. It's using the Inception V3 neural network. Inception V3 averages about 80% classification confidence. It's a popular neural network in use today, and it's a good go-to if you're a developer learning about neural networks. The next important variable is where you run your neural network. In other words, which core will you use? When you program on Snapdragon mobile platforms, the Qualcomm Neural Processing SDK lets you run a neural network on three different cores. The CPU, the Qualcomm Adreno GPU, our graphics processing unit, or the Hexagon DSP, our digital signal processor. Of course, you can run many things on the CPU. So first, I'll show you a benchmark for image classification using the Inception V3 engine on the CPU. Here, the app is processing a 2 megabyte image and getting about 4 inferences per second. We've used Chinese cyber vocabulary here for very bad, acceptable, great, and mind-blowing. You can see that 4 inferences per second is very bad. That's because the CPU is a general purpose core. It's optimized for application logic, not for the matrix multiplication you need for AI. Okay, next we'll benchmark the Adreno GPU. There's a lot of momentum behind programming the GPU to run AI and machine learning workloads. As you'll see from the demo, performance is much higher than on the CPU. We're up to about 14 inferences per second, but they're still very bad. Face it, the GPU has a lot of other things to do beside processing AI. And it has the overhead of the texture units, dynamic scheduling, and it's just not designed for neural networks. We call this our fourth generation Qualcomm AI engine. It combines the hexagon vector extensions with the new hexagon tensor accelerator, along with the Adreno GPU inside the Snapdragon A55. Now, with AI engine on, the app shows performance approaching the mind-blowing territory. With 7 tera ops of compute available, you can run real-time applications like noise cancellation or voice assistant engines from Google, Amazon, or Baidu. In my next video, I'll show you a reference demo that uses the same Qualcomm AI engine to classify images in real time.